Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the get parent component. We're going to go and run our example. I'm going to push the one key a couple times, and we see it says BP get parent actor two dot our child actor. The get parent component node simply takes in an actor and ask that, hey, were you created by a child actor component? If so, what was that component that created you? If we look in our map, we see we have this blueprint here, paired actor. Inside of that blueprint, we have our child actor component called our child actor. I've renamed it to that. And it's spawning in the BP child actors blueprint, which is where we are pushing the one key and asking for our parent component. So that's why when we do this, You'll notice it says the parents information are our child actor. That is the exact component that spawned us in. I can show you that if we hit play, we'll hit trigger, we'll look at our debug, and we're outputting the component our child actor. Now you may have noticed on our parent actor here, I am getting a parent component and grabbing the display name, but nothing's been going to the screen. Well, that's because we are not a child actor. We don't have a parent that spawned us in, so we don't have a parent component, therefore our value out is none. Now this could be useful, for example, if you needed to grab your parent component and do something with it. For example, we want to change the actor that's spawning, is, spawning in rather than what we are existing, or any other things you might want to do to the component itself, disable it, enable it, etc. And that's it. That is what our get parent component node does takes in an actor, asks it where you spawned in by a child actor component. If so, which component spawned me in and give me that answer.